What's happening guys? Welcome back to my channel and hi! Welcome if you're new here, my name is Akisha and for today's video, I'm going to show you my beautiful, beautiful pen collection and I have this backpack full of my pens and markers and brush pens, etc. And I also have my pencil case because um, this pencil case right here has a bunch of pens I use to bring to school. So first in my pencil case, I have the ball pens I use every day which are the 03 Hybrid Technica. So they're really nice pens but they are kind of pricey because they're 90 pesos. But anyways, these are the Hybrid Technica um, 03 ball pens. Now we have the matte liners. So these matte liners are high highlighters that are dual tips. So one side has a fine and the other has like the, uh, the highlighter tip. And I have a bunch of colors of these. I think I have 11. And these are 72 pesos I think. And they're my favorite things right now. So you guys should buy matte liners. I have the Pigma Professional Brush Pens. So these are 115 pesos each, which are kind of pricey, but it's okay. So here is the fine tip. You don't really see this kind of uh, tip when it comes to a brush pen, but I use these whenever I write the topics uh, in my notebook. And these are my favorite small brush pens. So these are the Pigma Professional Brush Pens. Here I have my Muji pens all the way from Manila, which is quite far. Here I have the 0.5, so these are just my backup pens. And then I have the 0.38, which is my favorite um, pen out of all my pens because it, it writes really nice and I love like it's not that it's not too thick nor not too thin. So these are the Muji pens. And last in my pencil case, I have these Micron fine liners, and I only have two because I wasn't able to find the year five and the other um, points. So I have the 03 and the 01. I usually use this when I draw, but sometimes I just use my unit pen. But anyways, that's the Micron. And now we are going to move on to the big guy and I place it in this backpack because I use these pens um, all the time that's why it's easier to just put them in the backpack instead of putting them back in my study table so it's just in this backpack that my friend gave me so here in the front I just have my old pencil case that's from Miniso So it's a magnetic pencil case that's just in this cute um, like blue color. I just have a bunch of extra pens that I don't really use all the time. Here are just normal 0.5 gel pens. Then I have this amazing Uniball Signal pen that is very expensive. It's 95 pesos and it's in this blue green color. Then I have one of my favorite pens as well is the g -Tech in point four. This writes really nice and it's good quality. And last we have the Uniball Signa and then it is 95 pesos as well. So in the main compartment of this backpack, first I have my brush pens in here so it's just in this Sunny's face pouch that was given to me and it's big that's why I use it to hold my favorite brush pen. In here I have a bunch of combo brush pens so these are one of the best quality brush pens that I own 
and these are around 150 per piece so it's dual tipped there's like the marker side and then you also have the brush pen side so I bought these in Manila and I think they're a really good brand Here I have my Artline sticks, so I did a review of these brush pens. I love the packaging and they're more of a marker type brush pen than like the ones you use for nice calligraphy. But nonetheless, these are really nice and they are good quality and they're also quite affordable. So you guys should get some Artline sticks. I have the Sharpie markers in this uh, Velcro, Velcro pouch. So I got this for 1,000 pesos and I thought it was quite a steal for these many colors. So I am missing a color which is black because I use the black whenever I make posters. But as you can see, they aren't fixed. I usually have these in like darkest to lightest. but. I just love the color range of these Sharpie markers. Sometimes they usually um, like mark on the second page because they are very strong inks. But it's okay. I usually use these when I draw and you guys should get the sharpest marker. Here I have the Dong A Hexa Plus Fine Liners. So they have a lot of colors. So these, I think these are 20 and these are one of my favorite fine liners because there are a wide chain of range of colors and I just think they're such good quality and I think for a pack of 20 these were 200 to 300 which was quite a good price range so you guys should get these because they are really good and I just love this brand I have a combination of markers and um what pens? Markers and I didn't even go. I have a bunch of markers and pens in here. So I have some ultra point sharpie markers that were just extra. And then I have the Signy Aquarel brush pens. So these are dual tip. But I don't really use these for calligraphy because they fray quite easily, which I don't really like. But I use this whenever I color in my drawings. And these are really nice. And they're quite cheap, so you guys should get them also. Next, I have in this cute um, pen holder, my Fudibayori brush pens that I really really love and I think these were like 70 pesos I think for one color and I just love the shade of colors and they're really good for making medium sized calligraphy so I have a video on those if you want to see it I'm going to put it in the link below and then I also have another Zig brand which is the scrawl and brush so these calligraphy brush pens are good for making bigger size calligraphy and these are 97 pesos each. Uh, quite pricey, but I think they're okay. I'm planning to buy more of these two brands in the future when I go back to Manila. So, go buy these. Next, I have my Stablo fine liners. As you guys know, I have a lot of fine liners, different brands of fine liners. And I just think they're super cute and, sorry, I just think they're super cute when they're in like groups. That's why I buy the packs. And they also have very unique colors such as the Dongai Hexa Plus. And I don't remember how much these were but these are very good quality eyeliners. And then I have the Crayola markers i have the big ones and i also have the smaller size like the medium sized one and then i have the even smaller ones so i use these whenever i try to make 
like cute calligraphy, bouncy calligraphy. And I just love the bright colors of Crayola. And these actually are my extra um, markers because I have I bought a new pack of the 20s because I love these markers so much. Also in my bag, which is very surprising, are these markers and calligraphy brush pens. So down here below, I have my Sharpie Ultra Fine Point. So these are the pack I bought. These are 24 colors and I just love the shade range of Sharpie. They are so bright and colorful and they're just good quality on them. Then I, I have my Scribbler watercolor pens. So these I don't really use for calligraphy because they are quite hard to control. But I know the main reason why you use these pens are for watercolor. So sometimes I use these but I don't really like them that much. I just keep it in here just in case. Next, I have another fine liner pack. So these are the Brilliant Color Stapler Triplus Fine Liner in 0.3 millimeters. So these I bought again because they looked so cute like in this pack and they were all uniform. But they're kind of like similar with the Dong Ai Hexa Plus Fine Liners and also the Stabilo Fine Liners. But for some reason, I still bought this. So they have very very bright colors and I organize them like neatly because I'm kind of OC when it comes to stuff like this. But you should buy one of these three bags of fine liners because they're really nice and very comfortable when you write. I have another watercolor brush pens in the 20 color. So this was a gift. And they're quite like these scribbler ones. Again, I don't really use stuff like this because I just find it more convenient when you just use the watercolor paint. But, I mean, I just have it in here just in case, just like the scribbler, if ever I feel, you know, more creative in doing watercolor. Lastly, I have the super tips that are very, very cheap and affordable and you can make really nice calligraphy with these. So these were 200 pesos only and you get a nice shade range of colors. So these are the pack that I bought. I do have extra ones in here, but you guys should really buy these. These are good for beginners and when you just want to buy a cheap, affordable marker that you can use as a brush pen. guys thank you so much for watching i do plan on making different videos where i review some of these beautiful pens that i have and as you know i do have a lot i do like to hoard my pens but anyways the reviews for two of my brush pens which is the zig for the bayori and the artline sticks i'm gonna put them in the link below for those of you who haven't watched it yet or for those of you who want to watch it again but again I hope you guys liked this video. Please subscribe to my channel and click that bell to be notified of upcoming videos of mine. And comment down below what else you want to see. Or if you want to see me do swatches of these, I will do those for you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!